Now, before we get started, I just want to clarify that there are a couple of different ways to do this uh, dripping effect. There's even an app that will help you do it. But uh, what I have found from time to time is we get used to apps and they disappear or you have a certain number of credits, you use up all your credits and then you can't try it out anymore or create any more designs, which is really, really frustrating. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do it just using Canva and uh, understanding the theory behind creating a, something like a drip effect. All right, so we're going to start off this tutorial by going to elements and placing a photo of a woman posing in a photo. Now there is a background here, so I'm going to remove the background. And I'm going to go back to elements and um, I'm going to go into my uh, search bar and search for a dripping effect. Now I'm going to use this one right here. To make this easy, you'll want to be able to choose a dripping effect where you can change the color. So I've got my dripping effect here and I'm going to have the dripping uh, occur somewhere here at this point in the photo. I'm going to reduce it and just try and match it up like that. And you'll want to make sure that all of your um, drip is covered, will be covered by the photo. So I'm um, just going to make that a little bit smaller like that and just try and, you know, arrange it so that um, it will every part of the drip will be covered. So that seems to be uh, the sweet spot right there. I'm just going to make it a little bit larger. So now that I figured out where the dripping is going to occur, I'm going to grab my photo of the woman posing and I'm going to crop it to just before the dripping so that it is um, continuous. Now we notice that the dripping isn't really um, straight, so I'm just going to move it up so there is no space in between my image and my dripping effect. I'm now going to duplicate this page, so I'll, I'll duplicate it, and it's now time to change the color of my photo of the woman and the dripping to white. But before I do that, I'm going to place a rectangle on my workspace. Now, if you can't find a rectangle shape, just press R and that will put uh, a rectangle right on your workspace. So I'm going to size it so that it's larger than my image and dripping. And I'm going to change that image to or that shape to black. And I'm going to position that shape in the back behind my photo and my dripping. I'm now going to grab my dripping and I'm going to change it to white. And I'm going to grab my image. Now I don't have a color chooser here, but I can go to edit and I can go to duotone and I can change that dripping to white and I'll change both shadows and highlights like that. Now it's time to download this. So I'm going to come to share, download, and I only want page two and I'll download page two like that. Now I'm going to go back up to my first page. I don't need this dripping anymore, but what I will do is I'm just going to extend it all the way back here and I'll remove the drip and I'll grab that image that I just created and I'll bring it into my workspace like that. I'll wait for it to load back up and I'm going to remove the background. And so now we'll be able to see right through into the photo of the lady. And I'm just going to try and match it up with the outline of the woman. So I'll grab it and just try and position it as best I can. And I'll leave it like that. And now I will change the black to white. So I'll come to edit. I'm going to go back to duotone. I'm going to choose custom. I'm going to change the black to white and the 
black in the highlights section to white as well. So I'm changing both highlights and shadows to white. And now that is totally white. But there's one more step if you want to be able to put this on a t-shirt or whether you want to sublimate it or um, uh, use it for DTF, we need to make it transparent. So we're going to download it one more time. And I only want page one. So I'll say done and I'm going to download. I'll come back down here. I'm going to add another page. And I'm going to grab that and I'm going to bring it into my workspace like that. I'm just going to take a minute to crop that a little bit and I'll make it larger. And I'm going to change the background to purple. And now I'm going to grab that uh, image that I just uploaded. I'm going to go to background remover and I'm going to remove the background. So here we go. Here is that dripping effect. And now you can use it for DTF to sublimate, to put it on a background because it's transparent. And we can also add a shadow, a drop shadow to give it a really cool effect like that. And that's pretty much it. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to press that like button, subscribe, and turn that notification bell on. For now, my friends, I will say bye-bye until next time.